Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw realistic skin tones with coloured pencils using two of my favourite techniques. For today's tutorial, I'm using Caran d'Ache Luminance coloured pencils. These two techniques that I'm going to show you work whether you're using Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance or uh, Prismacolor pencils. The colours that I'm using, I'm starting in the darkest areas with a raw umber, I'm then going to, with a burnt ochre and then finally a burnt ochre 10%. In the second technique I actually do use some white in there. So what I'm doing to start with is I'm finding the darkest area of this sphere and I'm using the raw umber. Now the raw umber is a fantastic uh, flesh tone for shaded areas, shadowed areas under the nose, around the lips, in creases of the face if you're trying to draw Caucasian skin. Um, I find this a really great base colour for the shadowed areas so I'm starting with the base colour of the raw umber and then I'm starting to build up with the uh, burnt ochre and then the burnt ochre 10%. Now this technique is what we call burnishing and burnishing is flattening the tooth of the paper down. But what we've got to make sure we do first in, in the initial stages is we get enough pencil down onto the paper so that once we start to flatten it we can actually start to blend the colours together and we can get a seamless transition from the darker areas into the lighter areas. And if you're going for any type of realism, whether that's with graphite or coloured pencils, that's actually what we're looking to do. So you can see right now I'm pressing on really hard and I'm using the burnt ochre 10% now. And you can just see that it changes the saturation of the colour, changes the, uh, the tone of the colour. And what this does is, is it also gives quite a waxy look to it. So when you're drawing portraits, this is a really great technique to use. I really like this technique, it's great for realism um, and I would really recommend it. So this is called the burnishing technique. For the second technique, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an oil paint dilutant, uh, which is called Zested. Uh, and what this is going to do, this is going to break down the wax in the crayon and blend the pigments together. So this is a slightly different technique, um, it gives a very different effect. I'm using exactly the same colours for this, so I'm laying down the raw umber. Now the big difference between this and the burnishing is you don't have to press anywhere near as hard with your uh, coloured pencils so uh, the longevity of your pencils is, is, is far superior with this technique uh, you're not going to run through your pencils very quickly so what we have to do with this is we get the colours down and then with a, a, a small paintbrush we're going to apply a layer of this alcohol uh, and this is just going to then start to break down the wax and allow the pigment to blend together. What this then does after it's dried, which is about five to 10 minutes, is it gives you a completely new layer that you can start to add more color onto. Now, with this technique, I find this much more like trying to blend uh, and uh, get some sort of gradation with a graphite pencil. Uh, the tooth of the paper stays intact, so you can keep layering this as much as you like. And as you saw there, I've, I've used a second layer. Make sure that you give it enough time in between. But as I did with the first, uh, with the first technique, I'm using the raw umber in the darkest areas, and then I'm working out towards the lighter areas. And what you'll also see with this technique is I'm actually using some white in there as well, just to show you that you can get that down. So there are my two finished techniques. That was the uh, burnishing and the alcohol-based dilutant, which is the zest it, blend it. Uh, you can get that from Amazon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've really enjoyed making this video. I hope it helps you out. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. If you've got any requests, don't forget to send them down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe. Smack the notifications button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.